Well, folks, we're back and it's Friday night. Yeah, it's the free-for-all. Right? This is a scary moment for me, I've got to say, but I've got all my mates here and um, not very few females tonight. So, um, Chris, we're up against it. But look, I want to ask you, Chris, Simon Bridges resigned. That's the biggest news of the week. Now, what's all that about? Oh, well, I think it's the biggest news for the week for uh, the National Party. And I think that the other big piece of news um, from the National Party is that the promotion of Nicola Willis into the finance role. I think it overshadowed a little bit of the great news coming out of um, the weekend with National pulling ahead in that one news can't uphold. But Simon has uh, done an incredible job over 14 years, uh, both leading the party and being part of an inner circle um, of the party. And as a young man, right, like he's he's only in his early 40s, it's up to him now to go have, have another career. He's going to be sorely missed. He's a conviction politician. I don't really like that word, when he, but he stands um, for what he believes in, and you know exactly where he stands. So on what's this going to do for Nash? We're going to have a by-election in, in, in a year before the big election, yep. and what's that going to do for, the, uh, for, for Nash? Is it well, going to be look, a good positive or a negative? Uh, if I look back at the last number of by-elections... Um, National doesn't doesn't particularly do well in them, right? Um, with the with the exception of uh, Northcote, uh, we've probably lost most of the other ones uh, in the last I don't know six to eight years. The the Tauranga electorate is really interesting. I, I don't know it particularly well myself. Um, Max, I know you live down there, so you might be able to give us some insight into it. Well, let me tell you something. Winston Peters dominated that electorate for a while. Is he going to come back this... this um, well, when, when's the election? Next month? Yeah, pr- probably about eight weeks from when Simon resigns. But the Simon uh, addressed that this week as well, and he said... Tauranga is a completely different lecture to what it was in 2008, and if Winston Peters wants to gallop back in, I mean, he's going to find it um, a lot different uh, to when he left. Right, I'm going to open this up to the floor, guys. Keep it crisp and, cl- and short, please. Remember that Winston lost the electorate um, a long time ago and had to come back in um, on, on the party list, and he's never been game to stand in Tauranga since. He's had plenty of opportunities protected by being leader of New Zealand First in Parliament to go and put his name up in Tauranga, but he never would. 15 years he's been out of that electorate. You know, it was 2008 he lost that. I mean, it's a long time to be gone. <clears throat> Simon had given a, a, a big contribution to Parliament, 15 years plus. Um, he's got a legal background, um, and while he was no doubt happy to be finance but spokesperson, perhaps minister in the next government, um, he's got other fish to fry. He's had a very good job offer, is what I understand. And unfortunately, the job offer wouldn't be necessarily around in 18 months' time, so the by-election is inevitable. All right, Ian, tell us more about the job offer, because I'd be dying to know that, because it must be juicy, because he could potentially have been New Zealand's finance minister last year, next year. You'll have to just guess a bit more about that. So um, it's being kept very tight, uh, but nevertheless, uh, he's not the first to go. Simon Power uh, went to a senior senior position in the ANZ l- uh, long ago, as a, and he was a very competent um, minister. And Jonathan Coleman, mm. of course, resigned and caused a by-election to go to a top job um, at that time as well. All right, well, I've got a question then. What sort of candidate should win that? Do you think it, Do you think the National Party are looking for diversity? Because I heard Luxon say that the other day when he appointed his his uh, co-leader uh, into the role, and obviously she's female, but is that part of the, um, the criteria now for being um, elected into the role? The great thing about the National Party is that the local party itself selects that uh, selects that candidate and it's about who best represents Tauranga not necessarily who ticks diversity boxes. I think probably diversity will be on people's minds as, as they run into uh, being delegates in that electorate and I think we have to remember that um, Simon was a was a senior voice in uh, in national and and uh, brought a lot of diversity to his to his positions as well. And remember that um, the Tauranga is one of those quirky electorates that selected Bob the Builder Mm. Um, as their candidate and um, as MP, and was elected with huge majorities, 10, 12,000 majorities in, in Tauranga, and he would be the least PC person you would ever meet in your life, Bob the Builder. So- but also, Tauranga has been through hell recently of their local politics with the council. Um, they, it was a businessman from Auckland went up there and took over, and um, that turned into absolute hell. And of course, now the government ru- ruled that uh, like a, I don't know, a dictatorship right now. When, because it gives people the chance to express their displeasure against the government, even if they've voted for them last time. It gives them the chance to say, hey, we don't like what you've been doing, so therefore we're going to mark you down, 
The difficulty here is that it's us that's caused the by-election, us national being... Uh, I think, Ian, you make a very good point because I think this is an opportunity for some, a group of New Zealanders in Tauranga. So actually it's going to be more significant to the government in terms of where the vote's going to go. Chris, you got a view on that? Look, I think that uh, in the last election, you know, someone only won that by 2,000 votes. Uh, and I think we have to remember that 2,000 votes sounds like a lot, um, but in terms of the majorities that Ian was talking about with um, Bob Pryor, 10, 12,000 is a very large majority. So I think, you know, 2,000 uh, majority, uh, Jan Tanetti from the Labour Party, um, she's a minister, she'll probably put her hand up, she ran the last time. Um, but the last word on this, Max, is probably I'm going to be in about eight weeks' time sitting across from Simon here rather than you. What do you mean Simon's coming up here? That's, that could be his new job. Oh, right, well, maybe that's an opportunity I could never... Dees, you're gone. Yes, to those man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, any last comments before we're going? Five, four, three. The latest poll shows National still neck and neck with Labour. So it wasn't just a one-off last week where we were a couple of points ahead. This time it is neck and neck. It's within the realms of um, the, the error vote. So um, our new leader, Luxon, is doing a fantastic job and keeping National in play for the next election. Well, there we have it, folks. We've just found out Ian votes national. But anyway, I, I don't think that was much of a secret. But thank you very much, everybody. And thanks, Chris, and everyone else for uh, uh, coming in tonight.